Hello, what about you? I'm Andy and welcome back to my channel where I like to build uh, cool robots from uh, stuff you'd normally throw away. Uh, if that sounds like something you'd fancy, uh, stick around and do me a wee favour and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. So, uh, if you watched my previous video, you'll already know that uh, I built some simple droids uh, using lids. And uh, for this video, I want to stick with the lids but I'm just going to try and make the droids a bit more elaborate, add a bit more detail and maybe add some arms. I also set the challenge uh, for you to build your own droids or bots using lids and the response from that has been awesome. So I'll be showing your, uh, your builds uh, throughout the video. I'm going to start with some sketching uh, but before that here's some uh, builds from Aaron. His Instagram is uh, Turian by Aaron. Uh, so check these out first. So, as you're going to see from all these uh, cool droids or bots that he made, uh, Aaron was well up for the challenge. So, uh, thanks for getting involved, Aaron, and uh, make sure you check out his Instagram. I'll leave a link there down in the description. Alrighty, so I've got a few lids here. I'll just put them to one side here for reference. And then these are the droids that I sketched in the last video. And I just want to try and elaborate on these a bit more. Uh, and again, a few more sketches here that I've just been doing uh, throughout the week. There's a few here that I've actually added legs to. Uh, but I think I'll keep that for the next video. We'll just stick with wheels for now. And uh, maybe get some arms on. So uh, yeah, just start some sketching here, get it done out in pencil first, and then I'll go over it with a, a felt tip, uh, just, just so you can see it. I'm just using the shapes that I'm already familiar with, and then of course adding some arms. And uh, for the hands, I'm just going to keep the hands very simple, just some simple pincer hands uh, for now. And yeah, that's about it for the first one anyway, just nice and simple, upright, droid. I want to try and make this next one a bit more of a brute and uh, make it like a tank and uh, give him some heavy wheels, some good chunky wheels and uh, yeah, a bit of a big cannon on the front and that's, yeah, that's a general idea for this guy. I'll probably double up the lids on the wheels there uh, just, to, just to make them a bit beefier. And there we go. A big brute of a tank droid. Uh, he's a bit top heavy, but that's, that's kind of the way I want him. And I'll probably make his arms a bit chunky too. So, next guy, uh, just sort of a slender version. Um, I think I'll add a section to the, the, the middle. So, we'll call it a mid section. And, and that's what I'll attach the arms to. So, yeah, this guy's going to have more of a slender look to him. Uh, this guy actually put me in mind of the Bounty Hunter droid in uh, the Mandalorian. So I, I definitely had that in mind when, when I was sketching this guy. And not forgetting his antenna. And that's him done. So that's about it. That's the uh, three bots I'm going to aim for. And I'd like to take this opportunity to go ahead and thank my two Patreons, uh, David and Wes. Uh, thanks very much, guys. I uh, really appreciate it. And uh, the guys actually seen these droids a, a few days ago. I actually uploaded a wee video for them there on Patreon, uh, just to give them a sneak peek. So yeah, if you want to join them, there's a wee link there in the description. Alrighty, sketching done. I've got my lids laid out here. I'll just give them all a good sanding first. And while I'm doing that, I might as well go ahead and show you the first um, droid I've been sent in. This is from Jonathan. And Jonathan took the simple droid design and just made it his own. Just awesome. And these pictures are really cool. And Jonathan has his own YouTube channel. So I'll leave a wee link for it in the description there below. So we'll just finish sanding these. And then I can get some parts glued together. I'll start with these two big lids. These are actually lids off uh, bleach containers. And uh, I'll put this first one in the, in the bacon powder. And uh, that means when I, when I glue up this other one and stick them together, the glue should bite straight away. 
And remember, I've, I've well sanded the, the rims of these lids. I want to make sure they're well stuck. And yep, just dip it in the in the baking powder and brush it off. Make sure it's nice and clean. I want this nice smooth joint. And then these next two lids, they're going to be the top for the, the big brute tank. And so I'll get those stuck together. And then the blue lid, before I stuck it on, uh, I sanded it obviously first. And then I went around it with my Stani knife. Uh, just to rough it up a bit more and give it some grooves for that uh, glue to get into. And uh, yeah, it, it just ensures a really good bond. And then for the wheels, I just stuck a load of lids onto my styrene sheet and uh, cut them out with my scissors. And yeah, I, I stick them on first because I think it saves on, on styrene. Well, that's what I think anyway. And uh, yeah, then just cut them out and cut off the excess and I'll use my sandpaper just to smooth out those edges. I want the edges to be nice and smooth. I should have shown you this earlier, but this is like a mayonnaise lid, like squeezy mayonnaise. And I just cut the flappy bit off and it just makes a nice wide base uh, for the, the chunky tank. And these two milk bottle lids, they're going to be the wheels. And they'll go together something like that. And for this guy, I just stuck some smaller caps there on the outside, uh, just to beef them out a wee bit. And then for the last guy, this is the tall slender guy with the th sort of three sections. So he should go together something like that. But yeah, um, for this video, I'll probably just focus on one. So I'll, uh, I'll get rid of these other two. And um, we'll focus on this guy. Just get my sketch here so that you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, this guy here. This is the guy I'm going to focus on. I've got a few different beads uh, laid out here. Uh, but I think to join the wheels together, I'll be using these uh, square beads. They'll probably be best for the job. I'll uh, just stick them on the wheels like this. And then I can stick the sort of center pole uh, coming off, off that. It'll, uh, it'll make a nice base for it. And for the center support or the body section, I'll probably just use a felt tip lid. Um, I've got loads of felt tips that don't work anymore. I got a, a big packet of them out of the pound shop and 90% of them didn't work. Uh, so the lids I think will be perfect. That'll just fit on top here, the, the square bead. And then for the arm sections, I've just took some more lids and cut them up into smaller sections. And then took my Dremel and just hollowed out the... the the center there just so the bead fits in nicely and you would think the the center of the felt tip lids would be hollow the whole way through but but they're not and uh, so yeah that, that fits nicely over the bead and that'll make a good elbow joint and having all these beads uh, means I have a few choices for the elbow joints well maybe not so much that one but uh, you'll see what I mean there's a few beads have got like uh, ripples on them or, or some of them have flat edges and you've seen this, the square ones and um, so you have just a few different options and then I just kind of mess around just to see how the the arms are going to join to the body you know will I just glue them directly on or maybe add a bead first and drill a hole and uh, but I think it, the adding the bead would be the best bet so uh, I'll get these pieces prepped up get the, the end sanded and then use my standing knife again here just to cut those grooves and that'll give my, my super glue some nice bite and yep get the paint off well scratch the paint up anyway on the beads and scratch it up on my standing knife again just to give it a nice good strong bond and then I'll, yep just stick these together and use my baking powder as always just checking that's nice and flat and then yeah get everything glued up and start building So I've given it a good seasoning, and then what I'll do is uh, clean as much as the baking powder off as I can with my brush here, and then I'll go back in with my glue. And that just ensures I get a really nice bond, and everything's going to stay glued together. And then I'll give it one final sprinkling of the baking powder on a wee tap, and that, that's it, good to go. I can start getting the rest glued up just in the same way. And now just before I stick the wheels on, I want to make sure it's well sanded and I'll cut my grooves into my styrene here, again just to give that glue plenty of uh, key to grip to. And yeah, 
get the wheels glued on, and then I can move on. Alrighty. Uh, for the arms, it's uh, pretty much the same process. And um, just get all my bits ready here, and uh, get my beads sanded. And I'm going to use these uh, just small round beads for the elbows. And uh, yep, get everything glued up and stuck together, same as before. Uh, just making sure I put a slight bend in the arms, and I don't want anything too dramatic, but I certainly don't want them uh, straight. So, arms done, and I can maybe think about getting a hole drilled, so I can get this uh, this all connected together. And so, yep, just using my, my drill, I'll drill a small hole, this is the biggest drill bit I have, um, so it's not quite big enough. But I've got a wee counter countersink tool, um, so that should do the trick to widen it out a wee bit. Sure, while I'm doing that, uh, here's another one of your builds, and this one's sent in from Annette. And this is our first scratch build, which is just awesome. Awesome job on that, nicely done. Annette has her own YouTube channel, so I'll leave a link for that in the description there below. But yep, nicely done Annette, great job, keep it up. Alrighty, so get this hole widened, and uh, just clean the edges up here on my standing knife, there's a few wee fuzzy edges just to clean up. And that's spot on, that's a good fit. And now I need to move on and see how I'm going to attach these arms. Um, I, th I think the best way is, is to glue in a couple of wee beads here under the top. Yeah, I don't think gluing them straight on would look too good. So I'll, uh, I'll drill a hole in the side of his body sure and uh, sink the bead in a wee bit. I try to think of it like if he could move, how would it work? So in, in my opinion a sort of ball joint socket uh, would work a lot better than just sort of directly sticking the arm onto the side. So now I know how I'm going to attach the arms, I'd need to start thinking about some hands. Um, so I made this like a prototype, uh, just a slightly newer design I haven't really tried before. Um, I was watching the new Transformers there on Netflix. and. Uh, this is the sort of style of hand that that, uh, that I interpreted anyway, but I'm not I'm not that fussed on it just yet. It needs a bit more refinement, and um, so I'll maybe keep that for another video. But uh, yep, this is what I'm going to go for. So sort of wee uh, claws or wee claspers, or almost like wee Jesse B buckets. So I'll take a couple of my smaller beads and just stick those into the into the end there, like uh, wrists, and then the claw just go on the end of it. And what I'll do is I'll use my Dremel just to cut a wee notch out of the end of the bead. And I'll just cut the pieces from my, my lids again, my felt tip lids. And uh, just cut a, a small wee tube and then cut the tube in half. And cut a couple of wee notches just for like wee teeth. And uh, then I've got some um, earbud sticks. So I uh, put my pieces into the bacon powder. And then glued the, the cotton bud stick. And then that means when I put the piece onto the cotton bud, it just bites straight away. I've found this is a handy wee trick for, for gluing smaller pieces. Uh, you know, putting the smaller pieces into the bacon powder first. And then that bacon powder gets into all the wee grooves and all the places that you've sanded. And uh, yeah, very good. You see there it bit straight away. And just give it a wee extra sprinkle in there for luck. And I'll just get the other one done. And get the cotton bud stick trimmed. And get them glued on. And that's the arms done. Yeah, awesome looking wee claws there, I think. And I've already got the, the holes drilled out here for the arms to go into. Um, so I can get this all prepped and start getting it all glued together. So we'll do the same again. And put one of the pieces into the bacon powder. And just make sure that bacon powder gets into all those grooves. And then get plenty of glue into this hole. And uh, that should do the trick. And then what I'll do is what I normally do, and go back in with my glue, uh, just to make sure it's a good, strong bond. And then I'll do the same again with the arms, and uh, pretty much good to go. I'll just add a wee bit more detail, he needs some, some eyes, and I'll add a few studs for detail. These are just some sticky back beads, I uh, picked them up at the pound shop, and uh, they are sticky back, but I'll put a wee bit of super glue on first, because I don't really trust the, the glue that's on them. 
And yep, just dot them around. I'll cover up a few holes in the beads. And then I've got some more sections of my lids here. So I'll cut those up in the smaller sections just for wee panels. And drill the wee hole in the back. And I've got a wee bottle here. It just fits in perfect. And you'll see the eyes there. I just used, again, a wee bit of the lid and then a, a wee screw bottle top. And uh, this wee white piece sits off a spray bottle. So it's going to make a pretty cool wee detail in there. And then the usual aerial, just using the, the spruce trick. Just heat the sprue up, stretch it out. And yeah, that's about him good for primer. Um, I suppose he's going to need a base. Uh, everybody's making bases with their, with their lid bats, so I'm going to have to up my base game. So uh, I've got some like rubber matting here. Um, or it's like a rubber tail. Uh, so I just cut, cut out a, a rough shape in that and glued a couple of pieces together. I'll probably cover it with some uh, paper mache clay and uh, that'll give it some nice texture. So, time for one more build. And uh, this one's from Wolfgang. And he actually stopped all his other projects uh, to build these guys. So, sorry, Wolfgang, sorry about that. But uh, at least he had a bit of fun. And those bases are, are awesome, man. And he also has his own uh, YouTube channel. So, I'll leave a wee link for that in the description. So, I just need to get this guy primed and get some spin shots. Uh, but before that, back to me in the craft room. So, there you have it. Some more lid droids. Um, I'll be sticking with the lids for the next video. So, if you want to keep building, work away. Send me in your pics and I'll show them off in the next video. Um, as always, thanks very much for watching and I hope this was helpful. And thank you to my two Patreons, uh, David and Wes. Uh, thanks very much guys, I really appreciate it and uh, I try to share as much as I can over there on Patreon, I just try to update, update regular uh, so if you want to join, join the base over there on Patreon, there's a link in the description there and uh, there's no tiers or anything set so just give whatever you're comfortable with and anything's appreciated <laughs> if you have any questions or comments, you just know where to go there, down below, work away and remember, there are no stupid questions here do me a wee favour and hit that subscribe button and like and share and all that good stuff. I'd really appreciate it and it does help the channel out. And so, until next time, bye!